We've reached the end of the week and the weekend is here. Doesn't it feel brilliant? You're watching The Lowdown here on Radio Birmingham TV. Coming up on today's show, George will be finding his zen as he trains with a Tai Chi master. And Taffy will be heading to Wolverhampton Youth Zone away. This is The Lowdown Birmingham. to the lowdown right here on Made of Birmingham TV, the show that brings you the best of Birmingham and beyond. And we're in the rather serene Cotteridge Park. My name's George Hancorn and this is Tafada Mashipe. And this is the lowdown, the show that gives you the best of what's happening across the West Midlands. And this place is no exception. You are actually here to do a bit of hoi hoi hoi. Is that even how you do it? Not quite. But we're about to find out because that was what I thought when I got into it. Yeah, we've got plenty more coming your way, including Taffy. Hop on over to The Way, which is a youth centre inspiring young people. Um, first, though, Tai Chi, because just over there every Thursday morning, Tai Chi takes place. And I met Mark, who's a Tai Chi instructor, because, first of all, no idea what Tai Chi is. But now I know it's a Chinese martial art and it has some very important health benefits. <laughs> Have you ever been down here to the beautiful Cotteridge Park? Maybe you've brought your dog for a walk or brought a football to kick around. Well, did you know that Tai Chi classes take place every Thursday morning just over there? Well, neither did we until Mark, who is the Tai Chi instructor as part of Park Lives, he got in touch with us here on The Lowdown, and we're about to find out a little bit more about what it's all about. Mark is the Tai Chi Master Instructor. Now, first of all, that's a brilliant name, brilliant yeah. job title. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we can see going on behind us, Mark. Okay, well, we're uh, practicing Tai Chi in the park, so uh, we're getting a whole range of different groups, and the aim is really to get people active. And Tai Chi, although most people don't realise it's a martial art, all these people are coming for health and relaxation, so getting them to come and take part on a morning like today when you can't stop them is great. So this is something that happens on a Thursday morning down here in Cottage Park. Um, tell us a little bit about Tai Chi. So it's a Chinese martial art, but there are some massive health benefits to it, aren't there? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been practicing about 30 years myself, and I originally started for the fighting as, uh, as a martial art. But really I think of it now as a sort of self-defense for life. We do a lot of research in the hospitals, so the health benefits for Tai Chi are great for arthritis, so good for your balance, good for heart conditions. In fact, we've got the only DVD available on the NHS for cardiac rehab. That's a massive step. So how did this all start for you in terms of getting involved with something like this that we can see taking place behind us? Yeah. How does this come about? Because it's quite a, quite a unique concept, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, well, we, we started about four years ago, and we said, we'll have a go, and we put some Tai Chi on at the Cottage Festival. And people really enjoyed it, and said, okay, we did do something in the park, and we, and we did that, and then that got taken up, and more and more people got interested, and the city started being interested, uh, and so Birmingham City Council wanted to get involved, and it grew from a pilot class of Tai Chi in Cottage Park on Thursday to Tai Chi in 20, 30, 40 parts across the city, all for free, which means we get all across the Birmingham city now taking part in the mornings. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to jump in the, as we call it, the, uh, the Tai Chi arena yeah. and give Tai Chi a go. Thank you very much, Thank Mark. You. Thank you. Thank you. been down here today. Uh, is this your first time you've been down here before? I think I started around about August of last year. Yeah, so I come every week, every Thursday. So what is it that keeps you coming down here to Tai Chi and Cottage Park? Um, I think it's meeting the other people um, and the exercise as well and getting out in the fresh air even though it's freezing cold. It is good. good you're very determined to yes, kind of get out yes, of rain or shine. Know, I've only missed about one. So it's, that's that's good going, isn't it? Uh, well, you are one of the volunteers down here in Cottage Park where the Tai Chi takes mm -hmm. place. How have you? How long have you been uh, getting involved in something like this for? Um, for about four years. I came for health reasons and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. And as I say, I became a volunteer. And uh, as I say, I come down every every Thursday, regardless of weather. <laughs> you tell you're out here whether rain or shine, yeah. Revealing snow as well, so, you yeah, know, yes, yes. So what is it for you in particular that, that kind of keeps you coming back? I think it's 
well, it's been out in the fresh air always makes you feel better. Yeah. And it's see the company, because it's not too serious. Although you are doing um, a structured thing, you've got sort of, it, Mark does it in such a sort of um, social, jokey way that keeps you um, wanting to come back, really. Well, what a fantastic morning we've had down here in Cottage Park. Everyone's had a brilliant time. Mark, just remind everyone at home, if they do want to come down, how can they do so? Okay, they can uh, contact us via the website, paintingtherainbow.co.uk. Find us on social media, Facebook, Tai Chi in the Park, and even Twitter, uh, Kaiming Tai Chi. Uh, so yes, and contact us. Like, uh, my phone number's on there. Uh, all the classes around the place. But Thursday, come and see us here. Thursday mornings, 10.30 in Cottage Park. I look forward to meeting you. Well, it's just as simple as that. Come on down to Cottage Park, Thursday mornings from 10.30, and you, you, you yourself can get stuck in and some Tai Chi. Thank you very much for having us today. Thank you. Brilliant stuff that Mark...